Welcome to Lifespan News, your source for longevity science updates. I'm your host, Brent Nally. If you missed our last episode, then you can watch by clicking the card above. We encourage you to check the description below for links to these stories. For our first story, a team led by Dr. Brian Kennedy from Singapore University has shown that administering alpha-ketoglutarate to mice has increased lifespan and health span. Lifespan increases were modest, 10% for females and 5% for males. However, the effect on health span was much more significant. Control mice became much more frail more quickly than mice treated with AKG. During the last 5% of their lifespan, untreated female mice were on average a lot more frail than treated ones under the same conditions. The treated mice also experienced less hair loss and discoloration that is often observed during aging. Overall, the researchers found that at least in mice, administering AKG results in a suppression of chronic age-related inflammation and compression of morbidity. So in other words, there was a reduction in the time spent in age-related ill health without significant lifespan extension. For our next story, a group of researchers has proposed three transplantation techniques for fighting microglial-related conditions such as Alzheimer's. These three techniques could also potentially boost cognitive abilities. Microglial cells form the backbone of our brain's immune system. Microglial dysfunction is thought to be an important factor behind the bulk of age-related neurodegenerative diseases. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and frontal temporal dementia result at least partially from microglial failing in their centennial and housekeeping duties. The trick is to deplete microglial cells to make room for the transplant. The scientists treated mice with a compound that kills microglial cells. When the new cells were introduced soon after, they successfully proliferated, taking the place of the disease resident microglia. The three techniques have different strengths and weaknesses. There also needs to be more work to test the long-term effect of obliterating the microglia population before the transplant. To summarize, this work helps point the way towards techniques that could possibly help alleviate age-related neurodegenerative diseases. Moving on, researchers looked at DNA methylation across a 10-year time span in twin studies in Denmark and Sweden. They found that genetic contribution to methylation, that is, how much methylation was inherited versus acquired, was generally small and decreased over the 10-year period. However, methylation at aging-related sites was more heritable than other sites. Immune or inflammation genes were overrepresented in the approximately 5,000 sites with the greatest heritability. They conclude that, quote, elevated genetic contributions at age-related methylation sites suggest that adaptations to aging and senescence may be differentially impacted by genetic background, end quote. For our next story, researchers have found that centenarians do not carry fewer pathogenic mutations. The study looked at disease-associated mutations in centenarians in a population of Ashkenazi Jews. They compared centenarians, their offspring, and control individuals. There was no difference in the burden of pathogenic variants within the three groups. The researchers conclude that this supports the idea that the extended lifespan and health span of centenarians is not because they have fewer pathogenic mutations, but, quote, rather a result of other genomic, epigenomic, or potentially non-genomic properties, end quote. For our final story, an open access paper co-authored by Dr. Vadim Gladyshev reviews the current understanding of the aging process. The paper shares an integrative model in which damage drives aging. The paper also proposes a, quote, stemness function model, end quote, where aging might be the result of a transition from a, quote, pro-stemness, end quote, state, in which cells are more focused on proliferation and damage dilution, to a, quote, pro-function, end quote, state, in which cells focus more on enhancing their specific function at the expense of damage dilution, leading to damage accumulation. Finally, the paper proposes possible approaches to rejuvenation within the stemness function model. As with all our stories, we encourage you to check the description below for the link. As previously reported here on Lifespan News, there's unfortunately still not consensus on what causes human aging. So remember, there's a few free, simple, and quick things that you can do to help us solve the human aging problem. If you're not already yet, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel, click the notification bell, and select all notifications. Also, like this video if you haven't already yet. Share this video on your social media, and let us know what you think in the comments below. We really appreciate your support, 
and we look forward to seeing you in the next video at least as healthy as you are now.